Hello, today we're on the 12th question of the Lee Code Advanced SQL 50 list. This is the latest login in 2020. This is the first question in the aggregation part of the Lee Code list, where now we're going to learn and focus on using aggregate functions like max count sum to get the greatest or the smallest value in a table or get the total, you know, add up all the numbers in a table, things like that. So this question introduces us to that and it's pretty easy. In this question, they give us one table called logins here. It is essentially a list of when users logged into some website. We have the ID of each user and the time they logged in. For example, user number six logged in on June 30th, 2020 at 30607. User six logged in three times, eight logged in twice, two logged in twice, and 14 logged in twice. So we essentially have four different users and we want to find the latest login of each user in 2020. Out of these three logins for user number six, which one was the latest in 2020? Well, there's only one in 2020, this first one. These other two are in different years, so they don't count. And we will just include this one in our output. For user eight, which one of these is later? They're both in 2020, but this one is the latest one. So we will return this one for user eight. User number two, there's only one for 2020. We will return that. And for user number 14, they never logged in in 2020. Because it's not in 2020, we don't include it. And we will return nothing for user 14. Just like it says here, do not include the users who did not log in in 2020. And our desired output will look like this. It's just what we have read, but in here. How do we solve this? If you've never used aggregate functions before, they include things like max, count, sum. These are things we can use in SQL that give us, for example, the maximum value of a table the count of something in a table, the sum of something in a table, right? If I said, give me the maximum user ID from art table, the login table, what would we get? Well, the biggest one is 14. So this will spit out 14. They are called aggregate functions because we take a table with many rows and we aggregate, squish them down into one result usually, or a few results, right? If we take the sum of something, we're taking lots of numbers and summing them into one number. If we take the count of something, same thing. We're taking lots of things that we're counting and we are getting one thing as a result. That's why they're called aggregate functions. However, in this case, what do we want to do? We want to find the latest login in 2020. And if you think about it, the latest login would be the maximum time, right? The later it happens, the higher the timestamp this column would be. So we would want to use the max aggregate function on the timestamp, on this timestamp column to get the latest timestamp. But this will just give us the latest timestamp in the whole table. The maximum timestamp is here in green. It's the latest time. And we'll just get that as a result. We don't want that. What we want is the maximum timestamp per each user, right? For example, we want to take this user, user ID 8, find all of his timestamps in 2020. Here, what we have in green and find the maximum out of those and return that, right? So we will check, okay, which one's bigger? This bottom one. So return that and put it in our output. Therefore, if we wanted to find the latest timestamp in the whole table, we'll just say max timestamp and we'll get this. But if we wanted to find the maximum timestamp per user like this, find the latest for six, find the latest for eight, find the latest for two and find the latest for 14. We're going to do the max timestamp, but we're going to use a group by we're going to say group by user ID. And instead of getting one answer, one result, like we usually do in our uh, aggregate functions, we'll get one result for each group, for each user. Now, before we do that, remember, we only want logins in 2020. So if we did this now and get the maximum timestamp per user, so for user number six, we'll get this instead of what's in red up here, right? Because this is a greater timestamp and it's later than this one. What we want to do first is remove all of our logins that didn't happen in 2020. So we want to select all of our rows where the timestamp is not 2020, right? We're going to remove this. We're going to remove this. This is not 2020. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is not 2020, not 2020. And this is not 2020. We're left with four rows, this one and these three. And now that we filtered, we can now use this aggregate function, find the maximum timestamp per each user. Let's see what that would look like. So our first user here, user number six, this is the only row in our table with user number six, right? We removed all the other ones because they were not in 2020. So the maximum timestamp is just going to be this row. This is the only one left. So it's the maximum by default. Same for user number two. The maximum timestamp will just be this user ID of eight logged in twice in 2020. Now in this group, 
we want to find the maximum timestamp. Which one is it? Well, this is February 1st and this is December 30th. So it's the bottom one and we will return this. And in fact, these three in red again will be our re result. And that's all. Let's implement it in code. Here is that table they give us. Logins. First things first, we want to remove all rows where the year is not 2020. We're going to select everything from our logins table. And to filter, we will use where some condition. What is our condition? Where the year is equal to 2020. But the problem is, how do we get the year out of this timestamp column? Because this column has the year, the month, the day, and the time. To get the year out of a timestamp column, we can use the year function. This is a built-in SQL function that extracts the year out of a column. So in this case, if we say we want the year out of the timestamp column, it's going to give us 2020, 2021, 2019, 2020 etc. We're going to say where the year of the timestamp is equal to 2020. Perfect. Here we are. We are down to four rows. Ignore the red and white coloring. But look, all the timestamps are in 2020. Now we want to use that aggregate function max, right? We want to find the maximum timestamp per each user. This is our expected output right here. We want to still return the user ID. We want to see which user it is. But then we want to find the maximum, the latest time for that user. So we're going to say max of timestamp per user group by the user. Last step, they want us to call this column last stamp. So this maximum that we find, we want to call it a stamp like this. And that should be it. Perfect. It is accepted. Our output matches the expected output. Let's submit. There, it works. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching.